This video was proudly sponsored by Penguin Highway, coming to a theater near you April 12th. Check out the link in the description to get tickets today. How's it going everybody? Too spooky here. In this video today, we're going to be taking a little break from Devil Fruits to instead look at a different aspect of the One Piece world. I recently did a rewatch of the One Piece anime, and have since caught up to the latest episode, which is basically at the very end of the Whole Cake Island arc, where we were introduced to the entirety of the Big Mom Pirates. When I was first reading this arc in the manga, I found myself getting very confused on who a lot of these new characters were, especially when it came to Big Mom's various children because there are just so many of them. So I thought it would be a fun idea to take a look at each of Big Mom's children and give a short description of what each of them are all about. Because even after recently revisiting the whole entire arc in the anime, some of Big Mom's children were only introduced briefly or really not at all, making a lot of them rather easy to forget about completely. So consider this video a guide to the Charlotte family, as we go over each of Big Mom's children one by one. Before we get started, be aware that there will of course be spoilers regarding Big Mom and her children, along with the fact that my pronunciation is god-awful, so prepare yourself because I'm gonna be butchering a lot of these names. But without any more delay, let's take a look at the Charlotte family. To start with a general overview, it should be fairly obvious that the Charlotte family starts with Big Mom herself, Charlotte Linlin, who went out to sea to become a pirate with her now head chef, Strusen, and together they formed the Big Mom Pirates. However, we also recently learned that Big Mom was on a crew with Kaido in the past. This knowledge could mean a few things, as it's all speculation right now, but in Big Mom's childhood flashback when she teamed up with Strusen, it was kind of insinuated that they formed the Big Mom Pirates directly after that? So, by that logic, this would mean that Big Mom possibly put her crew on hold and joined a separate crew with Kaido, and then later Big Mom broke off and resumed her own crew. Or, the second possibility, would mean that Kaido was once a part of the Big Mom Pirates, possibly even one of her husbands, as a few of her children might just have some sort of resemblance to Kaido if you catch my drift. But with that aside, as Big Mom forged her way through the sea to eventually become one of the four strongest pirates. She's had 85 children with 43 different husbands. Out of these 85 children, she's had 46 sons and 39 daughters. Now, I know hearing that she's had 85 children sounds basically physically impossible, especially when you consider her age, but to give a small example of this timeline, Big Mom had her first child when she was 18 years old, and had her last child at the age of 60. She is now 68 years old, and likely can no longer have children due to menopause, assuming that menopause exists within the One Piece world. World. So over the course of that 42 year period, she was somehow able to have 85 children, and with 9 months per pregnancy alone, that really shouldn't be possible, right? Well, normally yes, that shouldn't be possible at all. However, because Big Mom was practically hopping on her husband's dingleberries after every child was born, this by itself would mean she would only be able to have 42 kids if she had one every year from the age of 18 to 60. And while 42 by itself still seems like an entire frick ton of kids, it certainly isn't 85. In fact, it's only half. So the reason Big Mom was able to have so many kids during that 42 year period was simply because of the fact that she had multiple batches of twins, triplets, quadruplets, and she also once had Dusuplets, which is 10 children at once. So although she was already having children year after year for 42 years, she also gave birth to many of these children at the same time as other children, which explains how she accumulated so many during that period. Like we mentioned, Big Mom also had 43 husbands, however we've only ever met one, which was her 25th husband, Pound. Although it's also possible that we've met her third husband, which would be Kaido, at least by the looks of these kids right here, just throwing that out there. Um, too spooky, I got a question for ya. What's up, Carl? Wouldn't it be possible for Kaido to have not been one of Big Mom's husbands, but instead just knock her up and leave like an absolute gangster? Well, that would make sense with today's standards, but Big Mom isn't your average gutter skank. She's a classy Christian lady who only fornicates after marriage, so it would only be possible if Kaido was in fact her husband at one point, and based on the timeline, it would have been her third, which by that logic would likely 
likely have been around the time Big Mom and Kaido were on the same crew. So I'm just saying, it's pretty likely that Kaido married and porked Big Mom. But now that we've got that general information out of the way, let's take a look at each of the Charlotte children one by one to get a better understanding of who they are and what they're all about. We will also be going in order from oldest to youngest. Starting with our sponsor, Penguin Highway. While Penguin Highway may not be one of Big Mom's children, it is what made this video possible today. Penguin Highway is brought to us by Eleven Arts, who is also responsible for bringing us movies like A Silent Voice, which I absolutely loved. Penguin Highway is about a boy genius named Aoyama, who lives his life somewhat like a scientist. Our boy Aoyama here is just living his unique life like normal when penguins just start appearing out of nowhere all over the place. So he decides to take it upon himself to figure out where these little guys are coming from and why, leading to an interesting discovery about someone that he's all too familiar with. But I won't spoil any more than that. To me, this film reminds me a lot of the many different Ghibli movies that I've seen such as Ponyo and Spirited Away, and I highly recommend it to each and every one of you, as it's great fun for the whole family. Penguin Highway will be screening at many different theaters all across the US on April 12th, so you can click that link at the top of the description to find a theater near you and pick up tickets today. I was beyond ecstatic when they reached out to me for a sponsor, because supporting anime movies like this one throughout the states is a great way to make them more accessible in the future. So thank you so much in advance for checking them out, and I also hope you enjoy the movie. But back to the video at hand, let's take a look at all the different Charlotte children. The eldest child and the first son of the Charlotte family is none other than Charlotte Perospero, who is an executive of the Big Mom Pirates with a bounty of 700 million berries, making him one of the most dangerous members of the family. Perospero also plays the additional role of the Minister of Candy in Totaland. This title works well due to the fact that he ate the Pero Pero no Mi or Lick Lick fruit which made him a candy human, allowing him to create various forms of candy. Perospero was born 50 years ago from Big Mom's first husband. Then we have the second eldest and first daughter of the Charlotte family, Charlotte Compote, who is an executive of the Big Mom Pirates and also serves as the Minister of Fruits. Not much is known about her abilities, but it's assumed as one of Big Mom's eldest children that she is quite formidable. Compote was born 49 years ago from Big Mom's second husband. Then we have the first batch of triplets, Charlotte Katakuri, Charlotte Daifuku, and Charlotte Oven, whom were all born 48 years ago from Kaido, <coughs> I mean, Big Mom's third husband. When it comes to four-year-old oven. You are not the father. Kaido. You are the yeah! father. Katakuri is the eldest of the triplets and is one of Big Mom's three sweet commanders, whom are all regarded as the strongest pirates of her crew. Katakuri also has the highest known bounty of Big Mom's children at 1,057,000,000 berries. Katakuri also additionally serves as the Minister of Flower, and is an awakened devil fruit user, having the Mochi Mochi no Mi or Mochi Mochi fruit, making him a Mochi human with the ability to create and manipulate Mochi, along with turning himself into Mochi. Additionally, Katakuri has some of the most advanced hockey we've seen thus far, as he has extremely tough armament hockey, observation hockey that is so advanced that it can see into the future, along with also having Conqueror's hockey, which makes Katakuri the only other Conqueror's Hockey user besides Big Mom herself within the Big Mom Pirates. There's a lot I could go into about Katakuri since he is one of the central figures of the Whole Cake arc, but since this is just a general overview of all these children, we're just going through the basics of his character. The last thing I did want to mention though, is that there's a good possibility Katakuri is no longer considered a sweet commander after being defeated by Luffy. As when Snack, a former sweet commander as well, was defeated himself, he was demoted for that reason. So if getting defeated by the enemy as a sweet commander means that you are demoted as a precedent, then it's likely that the same thing is going to happen to Katakuri, but that's just something to keep in mind. Daifuku is the middle child of these triplets, is an executive of the Big Mom Pirates, and also serves as the Minister of Beans. His bounty is currently unknown, however he is known to be one of the stronger children, and also has a very unique devil fruit, which is the Hoya Hoya no Mi, or Puff Puff fruit, which allows him to spawn a gigantic genie out 
of his belt buckle by rubbing his belly. The genie itself was also shown to be extremely powerful, as it was able to cut entire ships in half with a single strike. Oven is the youngest of these triplets, is an executive of the Big Mom Pirates, and also serves as the Minister of Baking. His bounty is unknown as well, however he was also shown to be one of the more powerful members of Big Mom's children, and was also one of the central figures of the Whole Cake Island arc. Part of what makes him so powerful would be his devil fruit, the Netsu Netsu no Mi, or Heat Heat Fruit, which makes him a high heat human, that's able to drastically heat any part of his body and therefore severely burn his opponents. Then we have the first batch of quadruplets, Charlotte Monde, Charlotte Amande, Charlotte Hachi, and Charlotte Ephely, whom were all born 47 years ago from Big Mom's fourth husband. It should also be noted that each of these children are half-breeds from the Snake Neck tribe, therefore meaning Big Mom's fourth husband was a member of the Snake Neck tribe. Monde, the eldest of the four, is an executive of the crew and is a swordswoman, and that's about all we know about her thus far. Amande, the second eldest of the four, is also an executive of the crew, along with additionally serving as the Minister of Nuts, and she is also a swordswoman. However, we've actually seen a bit more of what she's capable of. Although it may not be much more, what we've seen is that she has a very slow cutting technique that is capable of cutting almost anything that comes her way, albeit very slowly. Hachi, the second youngest of the four, is also an executive of the crew. However, that's literally the extent of what we know about her, as she was never even formally introduced in the manga or anime. However, from concept art, we know that she is rather tall and also carries a sword like her older sisters. Ephely, the youngest of the four, is also an executive of the crew. However, unlike her three older sisters, she doesn't carry a sword, and instead wields two pistols. However, not much else is known about her other than that. Then we have the first and only batch of quintuplets, Charlotte Opera, Charlotte Counter, Charlotte Cadenza, Charlotte Caballetta, and Charlotte Gala, whom were all born 46 years ago from Big Mom's fifth husband. Opera is the eldest of the five, an executive executive of the crew, along with serving as the Minister of Whipped Cream. Fitting with his role as the Whipped Cream Minister, he is also a Devil Fruit user with the Curry Curry no Mi or Cream Cream Fruit, making him a cream human with the ability to create cream for various uses. The current status of Opera is also currently unknown, as the last time we saw him, Big Mom took a great chunk of his lifespan away, meaning that he very well could be deceased. Counter is the second eldest of the five, and is an executive of the crew. Not much else is known about him thus far, but we do know he is capable of using hockey, and that whenever we've seen him thus far, he's had a small girl hanging from his shoulders. However, who this girl is, and what her relationship with Counter is for that matter, are unknown at this point in time. Cadenza is the middle child of the five, and is an executive of the crew. Like Counter, we also don't know very much about him, but we do know he is capable of using hockey as well. Caballetta is the second youngest of the five, is an executive of the crew, and like his brothers, we once again don't know very much about him. And we also don't know for sure if he can even use hockey, because we saw that he could in the anime, but this never took place in the manga. If he's anything like his siblings though, it's fairly likely that he can use hockey regardless. Gala is the youngest of the five, and has never actually made a formal appearance in the manga or anime. So other than his concept art, we don't have much else to go on. But like his brothers, he's a pretty big dude. Then we have the second batch of triplets, Charlotte Cracker, Charlotte Custard, and Charlotte Angel, whom were all born 45 years ago from Big Mom's sixth husband. Cracker is the eldest of the three, and another member of the Three Sweet Commanders, and is therefore considered one of the strongest members of the family and crew, even having a bounty of 860 million berries. He additionally serves as the Minister of Biscuits, which also relates to his devil fruit, the Bisu Bisu no Mi, or Bis Bis fruit, which makes him a biscuit human with the ability to create and manipulate biscuits. And from what 
we've seen, he's somewhat of an expert at craftsmanship when it comes to these biscuits, as he was even able to create biscuit armor to fool everyone into thinking that it was his actual appearance. Additionally, Cracker is also a very skilled swordsman with his sword Pretzel, along with having very powerful armament hockey. Since Cracker was another important figure in the Whole Cake arc, there's a lot more we could talk about with him, but because we still have so many siblings to go through, we'll keep going on down the line. Although, like I mentioned with Katakuri, since Cracker was defeated by Luffy, it could very well mean that he has since been demoted from the title of Sweet Commander. Custard is the middle child of the three, and is an executive of the crew. Other than that, we don't know much else about her or what she's capable of. However, she's likely some sort of swordswoman, as she carries a sword at her side. Angel is the youngest of the three, and is also an executive of the crew. But similar to Custard, we don't know anything about her. 44 years ago, Charlotte Zucato was born from Big Mom's 7th husband, which makes him the 18th child thus far, and the 11th son. We also don't know much about Zucato in terms of what he's capable of, but we do know that he is an executive of the crew, and additionally serves as the Minister of Alcohol. 43 years ago, we have the first set of regular twins born, being Charlotte Brule and Charlotte Braille, whom were born from Big Mom's 8th husband. Brule is the older of the two, and also serves as an executive of the crew. She played a pretty crucial role throughout the Whole Cake arc, as you know, and for that reason I won't be going too deep into what she's capable of, but her main combat ability comes from her Devil Fruit, the Mira Mira no Mi, or Mirror Mirror Fruit, which makes her a mirror human with the ability to create mirrors that can also reflect attacks or even appearances, additionally giving her access to a completely separate dimension called Mirror World, giving her access access to move in or out of any mirrors present within a certain radius. Additionally, she's also very easily captured. Brye, being the younger of the two, also serves as an executive of the crew, along with additionally serving as the Minister of Meringue. We currently don't know anything about her combat capabilities at the moment, however she's likely a swordswoman of some sort as she's seen carrying a rather long sword. Then we have the third batch of triplets, Charlotte Nustort, Charlotte Bascarde, and Charlotte Dozmarsh, whom were all born 42 years ago from Big Mom's ninth husband. Nustort is the eldest of the triplets and an executive of the crew, along with additionally serving as the Minister of Transport. As far as his abilities go, we never saw exactly what he could do in the manga, but in the anime we saw that he could shoot needles, along with being able to generate wind by blowing really hard. Regardless of if that's canon or not, we do know that he and his two brothers were tasked with eliminating Germa, therefore taking over their scientific research. Also getting an army of 10,000 men from the crew to accomplish this. Ultimately, he and his two brothers were defeated, but nobody on Big Mom's crew expected them to actually get defeated by Germa, meaning the three of them must be quite strong if they were entrusted with that task without any doubt of failure. Bascarte is the middle child of the triplets and an executive of the crew as well. Based on what we mentioned with Nustort, it's insinuated that he's rather strong. However, he was ultimately defeated at the hands of Germa as well. As far as his combat ability goes, we saw that he was able to generate flames from his hands, along with being able to breathe fire in general. Dozmarsh is the youngest of the three, also being an executive of the crew, and additionally serves as the Minister of Tea. Like his brothers, it's insinuated that he's rather strong, however his actual abilities are also unknown. In the anime, it was shown that he could control his sword at a distance, however it's not known if this represents his actual capabilities. 41 years ago, Charlotte Noisette was born from Big Mom's 10th husband, now being the 24th child and 15th son. He is an executive of the crew and additionally serves as the Minister of Finances. His abilities were never demonstrated, so we don't know what he's capable of, but at the very least, we know that he carries some sort of dual-bladed halberd. Then we have the fourth batch of triplets, Charlotte Moscato, Charlotte Mash, and Charlotte Cornstarch, whom were all born 40 years ago from Big Mom's 11th husband. Moscato is the eldest of the triplets, and executive of the crew, and additionally serves as the Minister of Gelato. We don't know anything about his combat abilities thus far, however one thing I need to bring up is the fact that he is indeed alive. 
Towards the beginning of the arc, we saw Big Mom take a huge fraction of Moscato's lifespan while he tried to calm her down during her rampage. And because of that, many people figured that Big Mom straight up killed him, considering he was already 40 years old and Big Mom took 40 years of his life. However, like I said, he recovered a few days later and is still kicking. Although at this point, he probably doesn't have very much time left. MASH is the middle child of the triplets, and an executive of the crew. Similar to her brother, we don't know anything about her combat abilities, however we do know that she carries a sword due to her concept art. Cornstarch is the youngest of the three, an executive of the crew, and additionally serves as the Minister of Love. Like her siblings, we don't know anything about her combat capabilities whatsoever. Then we have the second set of regular twins, Charlotte Campo and Charlotte Lauren, whom were born 30 39 years ago from Big Mom's 12th husband. Campo is the older of the two, an executive of the crew, and additionally serves as the Minister of Pi. As a reoccurring theme at this point, we don't know anything about what he's capable of thus far. Lauren is the younger of the two, and an executive of the crew. As far as his abilities go, we don't know what he's capable of, however he has been seen carrying an axe. 38 years ago, Charlotte Montdor was born from Big Mom's 13th husband. Montdor is an executive of the crew and additionally serves as the Minister of Cheese. Montdor also has a devil fruit called the Buku Buku no Mi, or Book Book Fruit, which makes him a book human and allows him to manipulate books to varying degrees, which also gives him the additional ability of managing Big Mom's exotic creatures and pirates collection, along with also generally transcribing various documents for the crew as a whole. While we have haven't seen much from him combat-wise, we have seen that he was a key figure in orchestrating the pursuit of Beji and the Straw Hats, being able to relay information to various groups across Totoland all at once, and keep the plan organized and moving smoothly, or at least as smoothly as he could. In general, showing us that he is one of the more tactical and intelligent members of the family. Then we have the third set of regular twins, Charlotte Mozart and Charlotte Mariner, whom were born 37 years ago from Big Mom's 14th husband. Mozart is the elder of the twins and an executive of the crew. Other than that, we know absolutely nothing about her. Mariner is the younger of the twins, an executive of the crew, and additionally serves as the Minister of Yeast. Similar to her sister, we know absolutely nothing about her, although she has been seen carrying a large cane. Then we have the fourth set of regular twins, Charlotte High Fat and Charlotte Tablet, whom were born 36 years ago from Big Mom's 15th husband. High Fat is the elder of the two, and an executive of the family. Once again, we really don't know anything else about him other than the fact that he carries around a large sword. Tablet is the younger of the two, an executive of the family, and additionally serves as the Minister of Toppings. Like his brother, we don't know anything else about him. Then we have the fifth batch of triplets, Charlotte Smoothie, Charlotte Citron, and Charlotte Cinnamon whom were born from Big Mom's 16th husband, who happened to be a member of the Long Leg Tribe, making the triplets hybrids of the Long Leg Tribe as well. Smoothie is the oldest of the three, and the final member of the Three Sweet Commanders, along with additionally serving as the Minister of Juice. As one of the Three Sweet Commanders, Smoothie is considered one of the strongest members of the family with a bounty of 932 million berries. As one of the Sweet Commanders, we also got to see a good deal of what she was capable of throughout the arc, however Smoothie was easily the commander we saw the least of. From what we did see, what makes her the most threatening would be her Devil Fruit, the Shibo Shibo no Mi or Ring Ring Fruit, which makes her a dehydration human, with the ability to squeeze the juices out of any living or not non-living object. This also grants her the additional ability of absorbing the liquid into herself and her weapon, which subsequently causes her body and sword to grow larger. The height also depends on the amount of liquid she absorbed. She can then release this liquid in the form of an energy blast, which can cause massive damage if they strike their target and releasing the liquid also causes Smoothie to shrink back to her normal size. Citrin, the middle child of the three, is an executive of the crew along with additionally serving as the Minister of Eggs. However, unlike Smoothie, we really don't know anything about Citrin, other than the fact that she serves directly under Smoothie by the looks of it, and seems to get along with her two sisters. Cinnamon is the youngest of the three and is an executive of the crew. Similar to Citrin, we really don't know anything else about her, but she 
also serves under Smoothie and gets along with her sisters. The only additional thing to add would be that she also wields a large sword similar to Smoothie. Then we've got the fifth set of regular twins, Charlotte St. Mark and Charlotte Bazans, whom were born 34 years ago from Big Mom's 17th husband. St. Mark is the elder of the two, an executive of the crew, and additionally serves as the Minister of Essence. Unfortunately, we don't really know anything else about his character. Bazans is the younger of the two, and another executive of the crew. Like his brother, the extent of what we know about him ends here. 33 years ago, Charlotte Melisse was born from Big Mom's 18th husband. By this point, this makes her the 40th child and 17th daughter of the Charlotte family. We unfortunately don't know anything else about Melisse, other than the fact that she is an executive of the crew. Although, she does appear to have antlers, so she could be another hybrid race. 32 years ago, Charlotte Dequaz was born from Big Mom's 19th husband, which makes him the 41st child and 24th son of the Charlotte family. Dequaz is an executive of the crew and additionally serves as the Minister of Jam. It's unknown if he's from another race or not, but he does have large purple wings on his back, somewhat similar to whatever race Magellan is from. Other than that, we don't know much else about him or his combat ability. Then we have the sixth set of regular twins twins, Charlotte Gillette and Charlotte Poir whom were born 31 years ago from Big Mom's 20th husband. Gillette is the older of the two, an executive of the crew, and additionally serves as the Minister of Butter, which also works well with her devil fruit, the Bata Bata no Mi, or Butter Butter Fruit, which makes her a butter human with the ability to manipulate butter to varying degrees. From what we saw, this butter can be used to make things slippery or also be used as a somewhat sticky liquid to bind people. The younger of the two is therefore Poir, who is an executive of the crew. Unfortunately, we don't know anything else about her other than that, although one thing to note would be that she has a very sharp smile. Then we've got the seventh set of regular twins, Charlotte Snack and Charlotte Bavaroys, whom were born 30 years ago from Big Mom's 21st husband. Snack is the elder of the two, is an executive of the crew, and additionally serves as the Minister of Fries. Although one important thing to note about Snack would be the fact that he was formerly one of the three sweet commanders, and has a bounty of 600 million berries, therefore making him one of the strongest members of the family. The reason he lost that title was because he was defeated by Yuruge, and therefore must have been punished by being demoted. Unlike the current sweet commanders, Snack doesn't have a devil fruit from what we've seen, and instead fights solely with his brute strength and a large katana. Bavaroys is the younger of the two and is an executive of the crew. Unfortunately, our knowledge of him ends there, but we do know he commands his own ship and fleet, along with likely having some sort of boxing combat ability as he wears boxing gloves. Then we've got the eighth set of regular twins, Charlotte Prim and Charlotte Praline, whom were born 29 years ago from Big Mom's 22nd husband, whom happened to be a fishman, making both of these daughters mermaid human hybrids. Prim is the older of the two, an executive of the crew, and an octopus mermaid human hybrid. Unfortunately, we don't know anything else about her thus far, but we do know that she carries a trident. Praline is the younger of the two, a hammerhead shark mermaid human hybrid, and formerly served as the Minister of Design, as she has since defected from Big Mom's crew. Praline was married to Aladine to form a bond between the Charlotte family and the Sun Pirates. However, that bond has since been broken by the Sun Pirates' betrayal. In addition to this, we've seen that Praline has a very pleasant singing voice that was capable of manipulating the territory slugs in Big Mom's territory. Then we have the sixth batch of triplets, Charlotte Canton, Charlotte Cato, and Charlotte Montby, whom were born 28 years ago from Big Mom's 23rd husband. Compton is the eldest of the three, an executive of the crew, and additionally serves as the Minister of Augur, although we don't really know much about him other than that. Kato is the middle child of the three, an executive of the crew, and additionally serves as the Minister of Seeds. An interesting thing to note about him would be that it appears his head is actually a pumpkin of sorts, although it could just be a mask or helmet at the same time. In terms of his combat abilities, we've seen that he's quite fast and put up a fight briefly against Pedro, but that's about it. Montby is the youngest of the three and an executive of the crew. However, he barely made an appearance in the manga or anime, therefore we know next to nothing about him. 
27 years ago, Charlotte Chibaust was born from Big Mom's 24th husband, making him the 51st child and 30th son thus far. Chibaust is an executive of the crew and additionally serves as the Minister of Mix. However, we haven't really seen him doing anything thus far, but he does carry around a very large shield. Then we've got the ninth set of regular twins, Charlotte Chiffon and Charlotte Lola, whom were born 26 years ago from Big Mom's 25th husband, Pound. Hashtag R.I.P. Chiffon is the older of the two and formerly served as the Minister of Puff, formerly due to the fact that she has since defected from the family with her husband, Beji, whom were originally married to solidify an alliance between Big Mom and the Fire Tank Pirates. Chiffon has also since given birth to Pez, the only known grandchild of the Charlotte family thus far. Chiffon played a big role throughout the arc, and helped the Straw Hats both with the cake and just escaping in general. Lola is the younger of the two and formerly served as the Minister of Chocolate formally because Lola has also defected from the crew. However, she did so a long while ago, because she wanted to marry someone that she chooses herself rather than having her marriage arranged. Because of this, Lola does not realize that Big Mom actually despises her existence for ruining an important alliance, as Lola was supposed to marry the Prince of Elbath before she left to sail the seas. It should also be noted that Lola was the first member of the Charlotte family we met in the story, as she was introduced all the way back in Thriller Bark, and was even responsible for giving Nami the Viver card that was integral to the Straw Hat success in Whole Cake. She has since become the captain of the Rolling Pirates. Then we have the second group of quadruplets, Charlotte Mobile, Charlotte Marble, Charlotte Mukuru, and Charlotte Maple, whom were all born 25 years ago from Big Mom's 26th husband, whom was a member of the Long Arm Tribe, therefore making these children Long Arm Human Hybrids. Mobile is the eldest of these four, an executive of the crew, and additionally serves as the Minister of Tasting. Unfortunately, we don't really know anything else about him or his abilities at this point in time. Marble is the second eldest of these four, and is an executive of the crew. Like her brother, we don't know any additional information about her thus far. Mukuru is the second youngest of these four, and is an executive of the crew. We also don't really know anything about her, but we have seen that she wields a large katana. Maple is the youngest of these four, and is also an executive of the crew. Similar to her siblings, we don't know anything about her. In fact, she was only briefly shown in the manga and wasn't shown in the anime whatsoever. 24 years ago, Charlotte Brownie was born from Big Mom's 27th husband, making him the 58th child and 32nd son thus far. Brownie is an executive of the crew, and that's really all we know about him. He has been seen holding a bat during battles, and he's also been shown to have his own ship. 23 years ago, Charlotte Jocond was born from Big Mom's 28th husband, making her the 59th child and 27th daughter thus far. Jocond is an executive of the crew, and we don't know anything about her, other than the fact that she wields a large lance. 22 years ago, Charlotte Raisin was born from Big Mom's 29th husband. Raisin is an executive of the crew, and although we don't know a whole lot about him, we at least know that he's a hockey user, as he was able to coat his sword with armament hockey against Luffy, along with just being a decent and quick swordsman in general. 21 years ago, Charlotte Panna was born from Big Mom's 30th husband. Panna is an executive of the crew, and like many of the others, we don't know anything about her abilities. One thing to note would be that her weapons consist of large claws. Then we have the 10th set of regular twins, Charlotte Mascarpone and Charlotte Joscarpone, whom were born 20 years ago from Big Mom's 31st husband. It should also be noted that her 31st husband was another member of the Snake Neck tribe, making these two Snake Neck human hybrids. Mascarpone is the elder of the two, an executive of the crew, along with additionally serving as the Minister of Silverware. Joscarpone is the younger of the two and an executive of the crew. Between the two of them, we did get to see a little bit of their skill against Luffy after he defeated Cracker, including the fact that they use Naginata as their weapon, which is basically a large staff with a blade at the top. 
We later saw that these two also used bow and arrows against the Thousand Sunny while they were trying to escape, so this could insinuate that the two of them are also efficient with many different types of weapons. 19 years ago, Charlotte Ewan was born from Big Mom's 32nd husband, making him the 64th child and 35th son at this point. Ewan is an executive of the crew, and as far as his abilities go, the only thing we've seen thus far would be that he uses some sort of staff with an orb on the top, and this orb has the ability to grow to an enormous size, which was capable of knocking Sanji out of the sky with great force. So the fact that he can control this staff, even with the orb being so massive, is certainly a testament to his strength. Then we have the fabled do supplets, which for the record is 10 children born at once, which are Charlotte Nuichi, Charlotte Nuji, Charlotte Nushi, Charlotte Nusan, Charlotte Nugo, Charlotte Nutmeg, Charlotte Akimeg, Charlotte Almeg, Charlotte Harumeg, and Charlotte Fuyumeg, whom were all born 18 years ago from Big Mom's 33rd husband. Each of the boys resemble each other to some extent, as they all have the same shaggy blue-purple hair, however they vary in height and weight. The same can be said for the girls, whom all have the same brown-colored hair with varying styles and also vary in height and weight. Each of these 10 children are also considered executives of the crew. As far as their abilities go, we know at least a few of them are able to use Geppo or Moonwalk, and almost all of them carry some sort of scythe. But one important thing to note would be that Nushi has eaten a devil fruit called the Gacha Gacha no Mi, which allows all 10 of these children to combine together into one single hulking entity, essentially allowing Nushi to merge with other people, which he does with his other siblings. We didn't actually get to see this giant form do anything, but one thing to note would be that each of the siblings' weapons are also combined into one large scythe. 17 years ago, Charlotte Nougat was born from Big Mom's 34th husband, making him the 75th child and 41st son at this point. Nougat is an executive of the crew, but as far as anything else goes, we don't know anything. Really, the only thing to note is that he wears fur in front of his mouth, similar to Katakuri, so it's possible he's got something to hide under there, or he just looks up to his older brother. 16 years ago, Charlotte Pudding was born from Big Mom's 35th husband, who happened to be a member of the infamous Three Eye Tribe. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up a second. Pudding was born 16 years ago? Which means that she's only 16. And Sanji is 21 after the time skip. Oh god! Oh god! Sanji! What are you doing, man? That's illegal! Dude! Not cool! Not cool! Jesus Christ, what were they thinking? Now, putting that aside... Pudding is one of the central figures of the Whole Cake arc, obviously, so we know a lot more about her than a lot of the others, namely that she's a master of manipulation, actors, she's deadly with a gun, and she also has a devil fruit, being the memo memo no me or memory memory fruit, which allows her to alter someone's memories to varying degrees. An additional fact would be that those from the Three-Eyed Tribe apparently gain the ability to hear the voice of all things at some point in their life, meaning that Pudding will eventually be able to read and decipher the writing on poneglyphs. And although Pudding has not unlocked this ability quite yet, it shows us that she will be a central figure in regards to Big Mom's goal to become the king of the pirates. Additionally, Pudding is also considered an executive of the crew. 15 years ago, Charlotte Flampe was born from Big Mom's 36th husband, which in turn makes her the 77th child and 36th daughter thus far. Flampe is easily one of the worst members of the Charlotte family. Disrespecting my man Katakuri, is unforgivable. But we've also learned from this experience that she is well liked by most members of her family, namely her older brothers. In addition to that, Flampe has considerable skill with a blowgun, being able to shoot what she dubs nummy needles that travel so quickly and silently that even those with very advanced observation hockey aren't even able to see them coming. These needles have also been shown to be incredibly accurate. Additionally, Flampe is also considered an executive of the crew. The next few children after this are all rather young, and therefore are not considered executives of the crew yet, meaning the age of 15 appears to be where a child is able to contribute to the crew as a full-fledged member. Because of this, we also don't know anything about these children's abilities. That in mind, 14 years ago, Charlotte Anglais was born from Big Mom's 37th husband, making him the 78th child and 42nd son of the Charlotte family. 13 years ago, Charlotte Wafers was born from Big Mom's 38th husband, making her the 79th child 
and 37th daughter of the Charlotte family. 12 years ago, Charlotte Wero was born from Big Mom's 39th husband, whom also happened to be from the Snake Neck tribe, making him yet another Snake Neck human hybrid, along with being the 80th child and 43rd son of the Charlotte family. 11 years ago, Charlotte de Chat was born from Big Mom's 40th husband, whom also happened to be a Fishman, making him a Fishman human hybrid. 10 years ago, Charlotte Normande was born from Big Mom's 41st husband, whom also happened to be a dwarf, making her a dwarf human hybrid. On that note, I'm really, really, truly sorry for putting this image in your heads, but how the hell does that even work? Like, did Big Mom just take the poor guy and stuff him up inside her and just hope for the best? Honestly, I don't even want to know how it works. I I'm sorry about that. But just know that Big Mom porked a dwarf. That happened. Then Big Mom had her 11th and final set of twins, Charlotte Dolce and Charlotte Draghi, whom were born 9 years ago from Big Mom's 42nd husband. And finally, 8 years ago, Big Mom had her final child with her 43rd husband, that child being Charlotte Anana, which also makes her the 85th child and 39th daughter of the Charlotte family. So as you can see, a lot of these characters were introduced just to be quickly cast aside during the arc, and I can certainly understand why. 85 new characters in a single arc is a big number, and finding something for all of them to do would be quite the challenge, especially considering the Big Mom pirates don't consist of only Big Mom's children, so there were a ton of other characters as well. Because there were so many of these children though, it was also easy to forget who a lot of them were, as some of them weren't even formally introduced throughout the arc. So that's the main reason I wanted to put this video together, to give myself, and hopefully all of you, a better understanding of who these characters were, and what they were capable of, if we even got to see that much. So hopefully you now have a better understanding of the Charlotte family and all the characters that were a part of it. Even if it's just putting a face to a name, I at least hope you learned something. If you did, well be sure to drop the absolute fattest like that you possibly can. Like, drop a fatter like than Big Mom herself. Thick Mama. I know that's probably not possible, but I want you to try your best. Also, be sure to subscribe with those notifications on so you don't miss the next One Piece related video. Be sure to drop a follow on Twitter at 2SpookyTube. And also be sure to check out some of the new merch we've recently dropped. Lots of different designs so that you can show off your spooky side in style. You can find all those links in the description. Once again, thank you so much to our sponsor Penguin Highway for making this video possible. Once again, the movie will be in select theaters on April 12th. So be sure to follow that link in the description to get tickets to a theater near you today. As supporting anime movies like this one in the States will only make them more accessible in the future. Plus, you get to see something fun for the whole family. Anyways, lads, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon with a new video. So sick of feeling like this, I couldn't take it no more. I was steady killing feelings that I couldn't ignore. Yeah, I couldn't ignore. Yeah, I couldn't ignore. I was steady killing feelings that I couldn't ignore. Yeah, I couldn't ignore. Yeah, I couldn't ignore. I was steady killing feelings.